This is module five, lesson 26, side two. Number two, write the fractions that name the whole numbers for each fractional unit. The first one has been done for you. So you can see six thirds is representing two, nine thirds is representing three, 12 thirds is representing four. That's because 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. The first word I see is sevenths, which tells me each of my denominators needs to be 7. When I'm trying to make 2 equal to a fraction with the denominator 7, I want to multiply 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14, meaning my fraction is 14 sevenths. Next, I want to make a fraction that is equal to 3 with a denominator of 7. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 7, which is 21. 21 sevenths is equal to 3. Last, I'm going to find a fraction equal to 4 by multiplying 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 sevenths is equal to 4. We see eighths, so each of our denominators needs to be Eight, and we're going to find a fraction that's equal to 2, a fraction equal to 3, and a fraction equal to 4. To find a fraction with the denominator of 8 that is equal to the whole number 2, I'm going to multiply 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. So 16 eighths is equal to the whole number 2. To find a fraction that is equal to the whole number 3 with the denominator of 8, I'm going to multiply 3 times 8. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 eighths equals 3. Continue this by finishing multiplying 4 times 8 to get your numerator. Then complete tenths the same way. Number 3. Ryder dribbles the ball down one third of the basketball court on the first day of practice. Each day after that, he dribbles one-third of the way more than he did the day before. Draw a number line to represent the court. Partition the number line to represent how far Ryder dribbles on day one, day two, and day three of practice. What fraction of the way does he dribble on day three? So in my problem I see that he dribbles one-third of the way the first day. And every day after that, he dribbles one-third of the way more. So I'm going to create a number line where I partition it into thirds. Because he, is he was dribbling one-third of the way every day. So before he starts practice, he's, he hasn't dribbled at all. On day one, he is able to dribble the ball one-third of the way down the court. On day two, he's getting better. So on day two, he can dribble one-third and another one-third so he's able to dribble two-thirds of the way down the court. That's for day two. 
Now, day three of practice, he's gotten even better. So he, can't, he can not only dribble one-third of the way or two-thirds of the way, he can dribble all the way down the court, which is three-thirds of the way. So when I look at my fraction or my question, what fraction of the way does he dribble on day three? He dribbles three-thirds of the way on day three.